It's been a while since I've had to update my Who to Forever Summon videos. The reason being is because the Forever Summon hasn't changed in the past six years. But finally, with us coming on half of a decade, aka the fifth year anniversary, Grand Summoners Global decided it was time to update this bad boy. And I'm glad that they did. They added some amazing new characters in here, mainly just the Phantom Snipers, but also some extras here and there. This video is going to be a little bit different from my other Who to Forever Summon videos. I really broke this one down into must-haves, top tiers, and niche slash good to have units. I feel like a lot of these categories are pretty self-explanatory, so I don't really have to go in detail with them. Also, I'm not going to be specifically making one for a new player or a veteran player. Just whenever I get to certain units, I will just strip tell you this is probably who you should be going for if you are newer to the game or if you're older, whatever the case may be. So the must have category, right? These are the characters that if you don't have them, you need to get them. And there's a few in here. There's not too many though. I've actually shortened this list compared to uh, other years where I've actually had this list to be a little bit longer. First and foremost, we're talking about the man himself, Haruto. Haruto is an amazing support character, able to give your team archgen, health, art damage buffs, and overall be a great unit. The amount of support and the amount of hard carrying he can do for a team with all of his buffs easily makes him one of the strongest units in the game. If you don't have Haruto, I think you're personally really missing out. Of course, you kind of have to be a little bit careful here because he is a type B arch -giner, meaning that he will not stack with other type B arch -giner. So sorry, Emperor users. But if you're not running other type B arch -giners, I'm telling you, you're gonna be using Haruto majority of the time. So yeah, make sure you get this character no matter what. I'm telling you he's going to make your account so much stronger. Next, moving on to more of a defensive character, we have Thetis. Yes, Thetis is still top tier, even after all this time. Man still has a lot of stuff going for him, and really the only negative to Thetis is that he's slow, but this guy provides you really good stats. He provides you a strong taunt tank with a strong barrier. He also has damage mitigation built into his kit and arch genning capabilities because every time he gets hit, he's going to actually gain arc gauge. And with his slots being the way they are with the five-star defense, five-star physical and four-star defense, there's a lot of items you can use to just make his damage resist go through the roof. Highly recommend that if you're going to be using him though, make sure you get his true weapon because his true weapon is just insane on him. Lisa, the girl is absolutely bonkers. She can single-handedly carry a team, especially at end game. The fact that she gives so much equipment CT to everyone. Also, with her majesty passive, where she can hold some pretty important equips and make those equips be on such a low cooldown compared to other characters, it's just stupid. There's so many cheese tactics, so many strats that you can do with Lisa that just makes end game content so easy bro of course lisa i would say is really good for new players as well as veterans but i think it's more so like an investment pick right where later on down the line whenever you do get stronger equips this character will just become stronger with your account because you'll get better equips whenever you get those better equips you can then put them on your lisa put them on your team and she's gonna make your team just amp up in terms of the speed in terms of the buffs they're gonna be having the up times and all of that next we have the girl sustina an absolute defensive slash offensive powerhouse man it's an amazing barrier that's able to give your team arch gen. Not only does she have just the barrier, she also has the 100% physical damage buff on the true art alongside the 30% damage resist down or increased damage taken, let me say. Not only just that, her slots are really good with the 5-star defense, 5-star physical, and 4-star support. So there's a lot of good stuff with Sestina, and I really can't stress enough how strong this character is. And even though, yes, we do have characters like Draken now, people may think that Sestina is a little bit lesser, but I'm just going to tell you right now, in harder content, you're choosing Sestina over Draken majority of the time just because Sestina can actually make your team and herself survive, where Draken is just all offense. And then the final character that I want to mention for top tiers will be Vox. But this is a maybe. The reason why I say Vox and the reason why I even say maybe is because I don't think he's as strong as he used to be. Like, in terms of did he get nerfed or anything like that? Like, no, you know, he still does the damage that he does. He still does the things that he does. But compared to a lot of the other characters that are coming out, plus the characters that we have in the game right now, it's kind of like, uh, you know, he's not as good as he used to be. However, I will not deny that if you're newer to the game, Vox is an amazing character to have. He's able to give your team crit rate alongside him being a really strong critical damage dealer, so he's an attacker in that regard. Not only just that, he also has a heal somewhat in his kit because of his art that gives everyone on his team stats up. If you're more of a veteran to the game and you have other characters that are kind of 100% crit buffers already, like Mikey or whoever else, I don't think you really need Vox that much, and I think this is more so just a pick here for the newer players. And one thing that some of you guys may say or may notice is that why isn't this character on here, or why isn't this, why isn't that character on here? And the reason why I'm not mentioning some 
some of these characters is because they are in the unit of choice ticket. I wanted to focus on characters more so that were only in the forever summon and not in the UOC. Now we are moving on to my top tier category. We're actually going to be starting this off with a character that used to be in the must-have, and I think some people may argue that, you know, he still should be up there, but that's going to be my man Burwick. Burwick's an amazing character still. He's able to give the entire team burst arch gen, and if you're a fire unit, he actually gives your team over time arch gen alongside the burst arch gen. Not only just that, he is a magia drive unit, and his magia drive passive is pretty strong. It's actually, I think, one of the better ones out of all of them. As soon as he activates his magia, he gets all of his art gauge back so you can instantly go into your true art or you can opt in just for spamming your art. You definitely want his true weapon because his true weapon gives him, for one, a massive fire resist down on the enemy. It also will increase Berwick's stats by 30% and his damage by 30%. So it's a really great true weapon and really the only problem with Berwick nowadays is just that his modifiers are kind of low. Like if they ever give this man a buff and make his modifiers around like 50k, 60k or something like that, he'll be one of the best units in the game again easily. But it, just because his modifiers are kind of on the lower side kind of dumps him down a little bit into top tier doesn't make him completely useless or anything he's still an amazing character that i highly recommend a lot of you guys invest in if you've never used him moving on to miranda and Yes, Volti LR. I'm gonna put both these guys in the same spot here because they're kind of two sides of the same coin. Miranda is a taunt tank that deals magic damage. Not only does it deal magic damage, she's also able to ramp up magic damage to the entire team, but she's also the most resistant to it. She has a lot of damage resist in her kit specifically for magic damage. So if you're ever fighting a magic boss, you can bring someone like Miranda and she can easily tank that boss, usually without any outside help apart from maybe her true weapon. You can opt in to use her against physical damage dealing bosses if you wanted to but she might struggle a little bit just because she doesn't have any type of innate damage resist towards physical damage which does kind of suck because i feel like majority of the bosses in the game are physical damage dealers but that doesn't mean that she's completely unusable she's just gonna need some extra help in those situations now volti lr on the other hand is similar to miranda where he's able to give his team earth damage and he's also able to stack it with his true art he's also a phantom bullet unit that increases his physical res by like 20 percent and gives himself a damage barrier with the phantom bullet but with his passives they make him even crazier he has 20 percent physical res as a passive he has this unique passive that gives him 50 percent attack while he's above 50 percent hp but if he's below 50 percent hp he gets another just flat 20 percent damage res that's around 60 percent damage res if you're below 50 percent hp and you have his phantom bullet up just from himself alone before you even factor in any type of equips which is amazing not only just that if you have his true weapon its skill will also give you another 30 percent physical resistance and its passive for volti lr will give him 10 percent more damage res and paralyze and freeze resistance this guy is an absolute beast and i think this is a character that can be used not only against physical damage where he excels it but he can also be used against magic damage bosses as well just like miranda though i think he may need a little bit of help but not as much just because of the amount of damage resist packed into this guy's kit now on the complete opposite end of the spectrum we have simon simon is finally in the forever summon and man am i so freaking happy this guy does stupid damage as a dark nuker that's mainly what he's used for he's not really used for anything else he is a ramping damage dealer so you can use him in sustain if you want to he does have a pretty potent true weapon as well it increases damage gives him some more attack and status res which is decent not only is this guy just an amazing nuker he's also an amazing mines unit so if you want a character that is extremely good in the mines that's good against pretty much most bosses in the game unless they counter like human damage or dark damage you could use someone like simon because simon doesn't rely on crit chance he just relies on on raw damage buffs and his phantom bullet and that's it now another character that is a phantom sniper but doesn't have a phantom bullet that is my girl priscilla this character i haven't talked about too much on the channel but she is an absolute monster priscilla is just a really strong fire nuker kind of fire attacker she fills a lot of roles i want to say if you want to nuke with her you can nuke with her if you want to use her in like more of a sustained comp you can use her more of a sustained comp as the 100 crit buffer and if you want to use her alongside more fire damage units then hey she's all for that she's actually one of the key characters to have in one of the extreme crest palaces i forgot which one it was but i praise this girl every single chance i get even though i don't talk about her too much she is an insane character and i highly recommend you pick her up if you don't have her yet especially if you do a lot of fire nukes use this character and i'm telling you you're gonna be so 
surprised at the amount of damage he's going to be able to dish out alongside your team now because of the, all the crit damage buffs and crit rate they're able to have. And then the last character that I would have would be the girl Forte. Forte is the nuking queen. If you're talking nukes, then you gotta be talking Forte. She's able to give your team 30% crit damage no matter what passively. She's also able to give your team 50 art gauge with a passive as well. And with her slots, they're amazing for nuking, meaning that you can use stuff like Hive Zero, Nox, True EX Gates. There's just so many things that you could do with this character, and I love her. She's actually my most used character in the game, which is crazy to think about that I've been using this character this much. Of course, she is a character that really specializes in nuking comps. If you're not nuking, then you're probably not going to be using Forte, but if you are nuking, you're going to be using Forte 24-7. And now for this last segment, I decided that I would just rapid fire a few good to have units off to you guys. So even though that didn't go completely in depth with it, you know, they're still there. So you might want to look out for these. Are you ready? <clears throat> Rosetta, Water Priscilla, Duke, Victoire, Swick, Dark Cilia, Dark Haruto, Lyra, Irie, Fire Roy, and Shuri. If you haven't got any of the other characters that I've mentioned previously, but you wind up getting one of those characters I just said, maybe consider them. See if you might want to pick them up or not. Of course, be a little bit careful about some of the characters that I did recommend in this list because some of these characters are really catered towards very in-game play and require you to have a good amount of equips along with a good knowledge of how to use them. And for example, whenever I said Forte was a terrific top tier character. She is, but only if you're able to actually know how to use her. If you don't do nukes and you don't got the equips to do that type of stuff, try to stay away from those things because of course, this is simply a recommendation list. I don't really know what type of equips you have or how your box looks. So take everything that you always see with the Forever Summon with a grain of salt and add a little bit of your input into it to make sure that you're trying to make the best decision possible for your account. But ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you all for coming out. Man, it's been your boy P. If you enjoyed this video, highly recommend check out. Highly recommend check out even one of the videos popping on your screen right now. Great content. Guarantee you'll love them. And by the way, the time me finishing up this video because I had to re-record this part, live stream for the fifth anniversary celebration will be happening tonight. And by the way, your boy is a special guest. So I highly recommend minute you check that out if you want to it's going to be over on the official grand summoners channel at around 6 p.m pst i hope to see you there and oh yeah one more thing don't forget to drink water